uh, standard technique in pole dancing. No. I am going to demonstrate pole work, which is a name I made up for this. We did this in my training. Uh, and uh, the idea just came to me the other day. This is a way we can do tactile hands-on Alexander Technique teaching while maintaining social distancing and without needing to have uh, medical grade um, masks. So, um, I, uh, I'm actually um, leaving this on a chair because I don't have another person to make this video with currently. Um, I'm just generally showing the general idea, but you can also do this alone if you have a 10 foot pole or a 6 foot pole, and this, this is not the actual pole that I'm going to use. Um, and you want to be socially distanced from yourself. Um, you know, if you want to have some kinesthetic feedback, uh, so I'm listening with more awareness. I just released my legs down. And that was a relief. I'm listening with more awareness than I would be uh, quite able to muster if I were just uh, standing here. Uh, the activity of holding this, um, I recognize I can do less on my left shoulder. Um, working harder at holding it up than I need to. I can allow more of a sway. I can do less of my jaw, my fingers, my eyes. I can let the, the visual world come to me instead of efforting to see it. Feel my Feelings a bit more vividly, I feel my ribs. I was doing a little bit of extra there. Even can do even less in my jaw. I'm no longer preventing the sway, natural sway. Um, Less my fingers. Seeing a place in my mind's eye with more vividness. And, you know, freeing my deep neck muscles and deeper in hip muscles, glue muscles. So do less of my ankles, I can come back a bit more into myself. So, if I were doing this with another person holding the other end, I could be listening to their system and communicating to them where I sense there's more ease available. Mm. 
uh, and I did this with one experimental person this week. Um, they had a pretty clear realization of where they could make less effort than they thought. So, whole, whole work. And this uh, idea comes from Debbie Adams. We did this in the training on one or two days. And we would hand the weight of the pole to the other, from one person to the other, and then receive the weight of the pole from that person that transfer, doing that very slowly and with inhibition and awareness. And allows a lot of improvement of coordination, bringing up 